welcome. I'm Bonnie Graves and I'm having a wonderful morning talking food, talking wine, talking with chefs here at the beautiful Lido restaurant located in the Dolphin Bay Resort. And I'm very excited to be talking to Megan Loring, who is the new executive pastry chef here at Lido Restaurant. And I was commenting to Megan uh, earlier this morning that she is kind of known as the winemaker's preferred chef. And I definitely have had her food at a number of wonderful winery picnics and that sort of thing. So uh, Megan, I wanted to ask you a little bit about how your experience as, like, how did you get into the catering business initially? And then I know you've had experience as a restaurateur and now that you're going to be focusing on pastry here. Um, tell me a little bit about what uh, got you into the food business in the first place. Uh, well, older brothers. Ah. So learned how to cook very young and, you know, mother wasn't around so I would cook for my brothers and it made everybody happy and, you know, that kind of, and I loved it, and right. I had a mother who was an artist, and she really encouraged that creative side of, of cooking, so um, that was kind of how I started cooking. Um, I, I uh, w worked for about 15 years in Air Express as an operations manager, oh, okay. well, you know, ended up as an operations manager, and what I really loved was the logistics of everything, and so somewhere along the line to realize that catering was, you know, this great blend of logistics and food so I could... You're saying that beautifully and I think for a lot of people who think that catering is simply I'll prepare a few canapes in my kitchen and bring it over to my friend's house, they miss that logistical piece. Like it's really yeah. critical that you have an eye for, you know, the ability to execute high-end food off-site. It's a skill set that's not as simple as, as some people would think. So I'm sure that experience to build on that for many years. I know, um, tell me about some of your, if it's fair to ask you, one of your, your best catering moments and then one of your train wreck catering moments where something went wrong and and how did you rescue it and save it well um, train wreck was early that's it, funny it was early on in catering I mean I was just still green and I was it was a vegetarian wedding and I had made oh, all of these dangerous already vegetarian <laughs> wedding <laughs> but, and um, it was a buffet fortunately but the entree was butternut squash ravioli and I had made hundreds of them and as and I hadn't cooked them, you know, because you have to cook them fresh. And right, right. as I drove to the event, they shifted and moved, and and so by the time I opened up my containers, they were all this mass. Oh, no. So I got about a hundred people orders, you know, sort of extracted. But I still had it was two hundred people, and I still had. So you know, we we just. I had seen a farm stand, we ran down and got butternut squash oh and we gosh. were roasting it as we're serving the first few courses and Trying to catch up. I still had sauce and we, yeah, cooked some pasta and so just when the, the last, the ravioli that I had went out, uh, You're able to everything come was in ready, the second yes, wave. it was crazy. It's but lucky to get a, a farm stand nearby. I think for me working in the restaurant business, in um, front of the house I have my own share of train wrecks and I think it's the ability to kind of rescue those moments and think on your feet mm -hmm. that actually is one of the essential skills to be successful. Um, so I'm certain, you know, taking that catering experience and, and transitioning it to a restaurant format when it's Saturday night and unfortunately 900 people order the same dessert and you're shocked by this and you have to make more on the fly and that kind of thing. Um, let's talk pastry a little because I know that you're an exquisitely talented baker and, and uh, pastry chef. Um, what are you looking to do here at Lido kind of with the dessert and pastry program? Um, well, I'm excited to work with Pandy, and I, I love the whole seasonal aspect of, of, you know, how she cooks and what we can bring in in terms of um, local farmers. And, and I've known Pandy for years. Working with, with Pandy is going to be, yeah. you know, a lovely thing. And Rick is very committed to... to Rick, who's the owner here, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it's to doing the right thing and, mm -hmm. you know, putting the so support behind us so we can do the right thing. I think it's kind of exciting, frankly. I mean, I've been in front of the house for, for my career, but I certainly have worked with a lot of different um, chef teams. And one thing that is kind of a, a, an established fact of, of restaurant life, and I'm not sure why, is that executive chefs are usually male and pastry chefs are usually female. Mm -hmm. And I think it's kind of exciting to see an all-girl team helming, you know, arguably the highest end restaurant in this area. So, and it doesn't necessarily, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily uh, mean everything, gender in the kitchen, but I think both of us have a lot of experience in the business, and it, it is kind of exciting to see women tend to have a more collaborative approach. Mm -hmm. um, it just is what it is, so. Yeah, no, I, I think that's great. I, I think about, you know, over the years, people who, who have come to work in my kitchen are always surprised at how many women are in the kitchen. And mm -hmm. I never hire based on, you know, I mean, it, it's never mattered to me, right. male or female, but I, I think that partly is that women are less intimidated to come and work in the kitchen, and that's probably where, you know, but it, it's a totally different energy. and. 
and uh, yeah. Megan, let's go back to something we touched on earlier. I know that you have very extensive experience as a pastry chef, but I believe you're also going to be the event chef here at Dolphin Bay. So I'm thinking you'll have to draw on your uh, catering background for that. In fact, I see a gorgeous wedding breakfast going on. Uh, is that a big part of the business plan here? It is. And, um, you know, I've brought a lot of catering with me, um, a lot of the clients that I'd had over the years. And so we'll still be doing, um, you know, catering here, but we'll also be doing some offsite. You know, Wonderful. Some I think you have quite a following. So um, I could imagine that being an important part of the business model moving ahead. Um, let's talk a little bit about consumer classes. Um, I think a lot of people, like you say, growing up and feeding your brothers was your entry into professional cooking. And I think a lot of um, home chefs are looking to improve their skills, frankly. You know, I mean, we can all watch Food Network, but actually taking a class and learning from a pro, is that something that you're also thinking about doing? I think you and Pandy would be a great combo. Yeah, they have a good program here for um, cooking classes, mm -hmm. and you know, they'll do them in, up in like the penthouse. They have a great, you know, beautiful kitchen up there. And I think it's an added value, too, and that's one of the things I like about um, Dolphin Bay. I mean, they're certainly you know, wonderful, gorgeous luxury resorts up and down the California coast. But I do think there's more. For one thing, it's a very family-friendly resort, which is something that I really appreciate, having little ones, and that they really do put an emphasis on food, where it's it's not an afterthought. You know, it's not, mm -hmm. well, we charge you $18 for orange juice from Concentrate and $22 for pancakes that were out of the box. Or You know, there, right. there's a real commitment, I think, to mm -hmm. doing serious food and, of course, serious wine. You know, there's some amazing uh, local wines five minutes away, so it's nice to see those here as well. Well, I certainly think Rick is very fortunate. It's pretty much the dream team to have here at Lido, to have Thank both you. Pandy and Megan here. I think we've got some really exciting things to look forward to. So, folks, please come on out to Lido Restaurant at beautiful Dolphin Bay Resort. We really do have an amazing culinary team in place here, and I think it's going to be, uh, I don't know, watch out Michelin stars. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. The future looks bright. Thank you so much for being with us here in Pismo Beach, California. We've been talking with Chef, Executive Chef Pandy Pearson and Executive Pastry Chef Megan Loring at Lido Restaurant.